Girls! Hey guys, so I'm super excited today. I'm going to be doing a DIY custom paint job on the Gloria Dining Room playset. Now, if anyone knows me, they know I'm very frugal and budget, I'm always budget conscious, so this is an awesome, cost-friendly way of getting an awesome playset for your dolls. Super cute. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like now. I'm going to be custom painting, excuse the mess, I know. So just pretend all of that is not there. Um, in the future, be sure to subscribe. There's gonna be a lot more craft videos coming for doll toys and accessories. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. So as you guys can see, the table itself and the chairs, it's really plain. So I wanted something that's gonna stand out a lot more and not quite be so so neutral and bland. You can see here, these are the original placemats that it came with, they're pink with little purple design, uh, just basic cardboard. So I'm going to be trying to make everything kind of stand out a bit more. Here you guys can see there's a lot of cute accessories that actually come with this set. It's really, really cute. It comes with flowers, plates, cups, a vase for the flowers. It even comes with cute little silverware here. So it has everything you need to set the table really nice at the end. It's a really good set and I wanna say I got it for under $10. So it's a great bargain if you're looking for something affordable for your dolls. Um, here you guys can see the pieces do come apart. I'm gonna be actually re-gluing them back together because they do fall apart really easily if you don't apply that glue. So I'm gonna just use some of the quick, gl uh, <laughs> quick grip and glue it together once I'm done painting everything. Uh, so here you guys can see this is my color scheme. I'm gonna use pure gold, pure pink, and then a licorice black here. So these are gonna be my three main colors that I use throughout the project. Um, and hopefully it'll turn out looking really good in the end, we shall see. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do, go ahead and apply the paint. And you guys can pick up this paint really cheap. Everything, each one of the paints was under $1.50. I think the pink was like 98 cents and I got it at Walmart, so super affordable and easy to get. Um, even with the paints, you're gonna still be under what a lot of other ones are. Um, so I actually had this circular um, paint holder right here and I'm actually going to use this to create an inner circle on the table so that I can have two very contrasting colors once I'm done. If you guys do want to mimic this, you guys can just find anything round or just create your own circle. To kind of size it with a ruler and create your own circle. Take cardboard, um, and then what I did was I put the piece on there to make a perfect circle, but of course, if you're better than me, I have a very unsteady hand. So if you're better than I am with that, go ahead and just hand draw your circle if you think you can do that. And you're gonna wanna make it smaller than the actual table size so that you do have that border around the edge once you paint so you get two colors in there. So as you can see, there's my cardboard. And here you can really see how it leaves that border around the edge. So that way I can draw a line when I'm ready and then make it the contrasting colors. So I'm gonna start by applying the black paint. Da, da, da. And I actually decided as I was painting that I wanted to make a gold and black um, color scheme for the chairs. So you probably won't wanna do what I did and color the whole thing black. <laughs> I'm going to end up coloring the inner poles there, the inner, I don't know what you would call them, the inner bars. Uh, those are going to be with the metallic gold in the end. So I'll have to wait till all of this dries to do those bars now, but that's okay, not a big deal. This paint dries really quick. And when you do go to the paint section, you will see that there are different types of paint. Uh, I, most of mine um, are basic, you know, any use on anything paints, but the black is actually a lot thicker. It's for uh, painting on glass, painting on a lot um, things you can actually bake and it holds a lot better. But for this pro uh, project on plastic, I don't think it really mattered too much. <laughs> Looking good, already looking dramatically different from the very plain white that it started with. And because I don't want it to look too dark and spooky, I wanted to have a pop of cuteness and elegance. Um, so that's why I did choose to do the black with the pink. So it has that sophistication and yet adorable cuteness still to it. Painting in here. Some of this you won't be able to see too much once the pink uh, quote cushion goes on it uh, but I do want to make sure that if you're looking at it from an angle you won't see and this is um, as you can see it's very porous 
So I wanted to go over and paint it with a uh, pink that's gonna pop just a little bit more and it's gonna cover up some of those heavy pores in the plastic material and just make it look a little more silky and smooth. And I think this pink looks cuter. It stands out a lot more than the, the very pastelish pink. So there you guys can see the difference. Not too dramatic, but enough to make it stand out a bit more. For this, I used a sponge brush for my first layer just because it goes on a lot faster than if I were to use a paintbrush. I'm going to cover the entire table first and then I'll go back with the black later for the border. Uh, this is gonna need two coats most likely, maybe even three, because it's a very smooth surface so it has a lot of streaking. On my second coat, I'll probably go back with a normal paintbrush because the sponge brush does tend to leave excessive streaking, as you guys can see. But looking good, gonna let that dry. Back to the chairs. So now that the chairs dry, I'm gonna go ahead and fix my mistake and start applying that gold metallic paint on the inner bars. This way it adds a bit of contrast and as I was saying before, it adds that little elegant touch. Now onto the plates. I do not like the way these look originally. You may like the red and white uh, color scheme, but I wanted to add a touch of gold metallic plates. So they have that metal polished look to them. Next up, I'm gonna repaint the placemats. I'm just gonna use a sponge brush for this and paint over it, paint the edges. And I'm gonna probably need a few coats on this as well due to that purple design. Two, maybe three. So I've already started to do the border. I have a unsteady hand, so it's a little wobbly. It's not perfectly circular, but it's good enough. So I'm gonna continue that through. And now we have the dry chairs. I'm gonna go back through here and I'm just gonna carefully touch up any places I missed. Sometimes I had to dry it on one side or another side and I wasn't able to paint both sides at once. So now I'm just gonna kind of go through uh, anything that peeled off or maybe had two paint colors touch each other and just make sure it's all fully coated. Wow, totally missed this whole side. <laughs> That's okay, easy fixing. I am having so much fun with this. This is a lot of fun. Not only is it fun to have the table and to be able to play with it, but it's so exciting to be able to customize something in your own way, something you're gonna be happy with, something that you, know, you can make a hobby and actually enjoy doing. It's a lot of fun. And I'm gonna be doing quite a few more of these, so be sure to subscribe so that you can check in and see what I'm up to. Next, I'm most likely gonna be doing a Wonderland theme and I will be working on the Mad Hatter's Tea Party table next for a custom design. So under here, guys, this is the underside. I would highly recommend painting with the pieces out. It is very hard to get them out once you put them in. So unfortunately I have to kind of work with them being already in now that I've put them in place. So I'm probably going to make a huge mess here. So don't learn from my mistakes guys. Don't do, don't do what I did. Dun, dun, dun. Trying to get in a little crevice without putting it too far onto the pink uh, panels. Gonna go ahead and add the pink now. Ah, oh no! Yeah, this is why you don't wanna do this. And if you do, you wanna make sure you let your paint dry first. Again, learn from my mistakes, guys. I'm very creative, but I'm not very crafty. I am a very messy, messy crafter. And I've made the paint purple. Oh no, okay, that's not very good. Yikes! And my thumb's just as pink as the table now. Ah! Okay, I'm, I'm totally making this worse. <laughs> just getting worse and worse and worse as I go. Oh no. And that is purple. I'm gonna let this dry completely and wash my hands. And we'll, we'll revisit that later. I will paint it again once it dries. So, as you guys can see, I've gone ahead. I've done the coats on this. They're pink. And now I'm gonna add a little touch with a teeny tiny little paintbrush here and I'm gonna add some gold dots just for a little contrasting color and fun. 
do, 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 do. and I have no pattern whatsoever. I'm just kind of placing them wherever my hand lands. I think it's turning out quite good. What do you guys think? I think stripes would have also been a cute idea too. So stripes could have worked or maybe doing a gold uh, border around them, maybe a heart in the center, but those might get covered with the plates. But I like the dots, they add a little cute touch. So now that everything's dry, I'm gonna go ahead with the quick grip and I'm going to secure the chairs in place. Because as mentioned before, the one thing about this set, because it is a budget set, the pieces do come apart pretty easy if you don't secure them. But with a little glue, they're just as awesome as any other. There we go. And the cushion. I have glue all over, I have paint all over. This is a messy but super fun project. So there you go guys, there's the first chair completely done. I'm just gonna follow up with the second, the third, and the fourth chair. And back to the table. So I have gone ahead, let it dry and repainted. I think it turned out pretty good. The little creases are a little messy, but I don't think anyone's gonna notice once the chairs are pushed in. So I'm excited, I'm gonna use it for photos, for playtime, and now the funnest part of all, setting the table, got the placemats out, the beautiful metallic plates and bowl sets. I think they turned out pretty awesome. I didn't paint the bottoms because I can't really see them once the table's set, but if I notice that I can, I'll probably just go back and do that again. Painted the vase to match, got the cute little flowers they came with, Look at these cute little utensils. They are so stinking adorable. I love them. Got the knife. I have no idea. I will admit I have no idea how to properly set a table. So if you do, just ignore my attempts if I am incorrect. I'm just placing them wherever I can find they fit and it's probably horribly wrong. Ba -ba -da. Hopefully the dolls won't notice though. And then we have these two cute little cups. Could put some juice in one, water in another. Set those up. You could actually have a little bit of detail on them. If you were really crafty with a steady hand, you could apply some paint and make them pop a little more, but I am not that good. So there you go, guys. What do you think? I think it turned out really cute. I think I did pretty good on nailing that elegant with a little touch of cute because everything's got to have a little cuteness super cool i think it would work well with barbie monster high shopkins i love it let me know what you guys think in the comments if you like it if you would have done something different and if so what that would have been i'm always looking for new ideas so, be sure to tell me. Shoppy friends, having lunch. Super cute. You can also use the table with your favorite superhero. If only my legs could bend, I'd actually be able to sit at the table. But of course, lunch is always better with a friend. So Jillian's come for some lunch. What do you think, Captain America? Do you like it? It's fabulous. I mean, I mean, pig's okay. <clears throat> Awkward. So here's the original box. And this is what the table looked like before once again, just as a reminder. Very plain, it's pretty, but plain. And here is the new one. It pops, the colors contrast. It stands out, it's cute, it's elegant, it's fun, it's ready to play with. Before, Dun, 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 after. Be sure to subscribe, guys. As mentioned before, I'm going to be doing a Wonderland tea party table next. Super excited and hope you'll join me. Thanks so much for watching. Check out these other fun videos.